Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about HTTP transaction or we can say working of HTTP topic of computer network. Before start this video, let us subscribe me on YouTube Chirag Balodia, follow my blog EDU resources, follow me on Instagram and on FB. All the video materials are available on my blog EDU resources. All the links are available in description. So let us start with Introduction of HTTP HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is simple web transfer protocol. It means whenever you want to access any file on the web, at that time you must use HTTP protocol. Next, HTTP protocol use port number 80. It means all the traffic related to HTTP are forward and received at the port number 80. Next, purpose of HTTP to transfer the hypermedia document like HTML. Also, we can say using the HTTP, we can transfer the multimedia documents. Working of HTTP is based on request response behavior. Let us take one example to understand the request response behavior. There is one client and there is one server. Client want to access a file from the server. So first of all, client make a request to the server for the particular information or file. So after that, server read the request and send requested file to the client. It is called response. So this is known as request response behavior. Next, HTTP transaction or working of HTTP. HTTP transaction have following components. First component is connection. The client makes a connection to the server. We all know that working of HTTP is based on the request response behavior. So before requesting a file from the client side, connection is required. So first component is connection. Next, request. The client requests the information from the server because working of HTTP is based on the request response behavior. Next, response. Client send a request to the server. After that request, server will provide the information to the client using the response. Sometimes server will refuse to provide the information. Next, clause. Whenever client receive the information as per his requirement, after that both the parties terminate the connection. It is called close the connection. Now all the components are discussed one by one in detail. So first component is connection. We all know that connection is the first part of the HTTP transaction. So whenever client want to send a request to the server at that time connection is established. So it means the translation of the name address into IP address is done by the DNS. For example, client send a request to the server using the URL. The URL is http www.facebook.com. So this URL request is sent to the DNS. DNS will check its directory and find the IP address associated with the facebook.com and send to the client. For example, the facebook.com IP is 192.168.1.1. So here 80 is the port number because HTTP protocol is used. So this IP address sent to the server and make a request for the connection. The client program connects to the server by a TCP connection at the address specified in the URL. So here address is 192.168.1.1. It is the address of facebook.com and 80 is the port number. So here connection is established between the client and server. Next component is request. So here client send a request to the server. So now see this diagram. This is the format of request message. There are four parts in the request message format. The first one is request line, the second one is header field, the third one is blank line and the fourth one is message body. So here we are discussing HTTP request. So I have discussed request line from this format of request message. Before discuss about the request line, I want to share some information with you. There are two different types of request in HTTP. The first one is simple request and then second one is full request. So before discuss about the request line, we will understand what is simple request and what is full request. So first of all, what is simple request? A simple request is just a single gate line. Here gate is the method of HTTP request and the page desired. It means the URL of the page and without the protocol version. So no protocol version is mentioned in the simple request. So here example of HTTP simple request. The first element is gate. Gate means the HTTP request type. The next element is hypertext. So it is a HTTP protocol without version. And the next is the project.html. It means it is the address of web page or we can say 
the page is requested by the client. Next, the response is just the raw page with no header, no MIME and no encoding. In previous slide, we have saw HTTP message request format. In that format, header is there. So whenever HTTP simple request is sent from client to server, at that time, there is no header. Next, what is HTTP full request? HTTP full requests are indicated by the presence of the protocol version on the GET request line. Now see the example of HTTP full request. So based on the definition of HTTP full request, the protocol version is included inside the GET request line. Here protocol version is 1.1. Next, the first word on the full request line is simply the name of method. Now see over here it is the GET to be executed on the web page. So in this example, the first part is get. So it is the HTTP request type. Also the full request contain the page desired and the protocol version. Now see in this example home.html it is the address of web page and HTTP 1.1 it is the version of HTTP protocol. So here the difference between the simple request and full request is that the HTTP version is not available in the simple request and HTTP version is available in the full request. Here HTTP request type GET is case sensitive. So it will be written only in capital letters. Next request line. Request line is the first field of the format of request message. Request line contains the following things. The first one is the request type. The second one is resources and the third one is HTTP version. So let us take one example to understand the request line. So this is the example. The first one is the get. It is the HTTP request type. So this is the first component. The second one is resource. Now it is the home.html. So we can say it is the URL or resource. And the last component is HTTP version. It is mentioned over here. So it is the HTTP version 1.1. So we can say this is the example of HTTP full request. So whenever you mention the HTTP version in the request line, it indicates the full request of HTTP. So now discuss all the component one by one. The first component is request type. So in request type, it categorizes the request message into several methods for HTTP version 1.1. So the methods like that get, post, delete, put, copy, move, link or unlink. So there are number of methods are available in the full request type. In simple request, there are get, post and head method are used. The next component is resource. Here resource means the URL. So URL is used to access the information from the internet. So let us take one example to understand the URL. So this is the example of URL HTTP www.facebook.com slash home.html. So now discuss the component of URL. The first component is HTTP. So it is the protocol. The next is www. It is the subdomain. Next one is Facebook. It is the domain name. And the next is .com. So it is the top level domain. And the last one is home.html. It is the file path. So here home.html file is located in the facebook.com server. But whenever client send a request using the URL, but server cannot read the URL because server just read the IP address. So before sending the URL request to the server, it is convert into the IP address. So here www.facebook.com IP address is for example, 192.168.1.1. Here, 80 is the port number because HTTP protocol is the used. And the file home.html. Next, the URL defines the four things. The first one is the method here, HTTP. The second one is the host. So this is the host IP address. And the third one is the port. Port number 80 is used because HTTP protocol. And the fourth one is the path of the file. So it is home.html. So now we can define the URL in this four parts. The first one is protocol, then host IP address, then the port number of the protocol and the path of the file. Next component is HTTP version. Here in this example, HTTP version 1.1 is used because of the full request of HTTP. If it is simple request, then version is not present. Now we discuss the real time example of HTTP request message. Now see the real time example of HTTP request message. So now compare this request message with the request message format. So here first line is the request line as per the request message format. Now see here in request line the first method is the get method is used. 
then index.html it is the url and the http 1.1 version is used so this is the example of http request message so first line is the request line so after the request line the next field is the header field so that all the lines are covered in the header fields now see in this format of request message after the request line the next field is the header field and the next one is the blank line so it is the end of header field so here message body is not included in this request message so after the header field there is the blank line it is the end of the header field next component is response so we all know that response message is sent from server to client so here this figure shows the format of response message there is the minor difference between the format of request message and the format of response message in request message format the first field is request line in response message format the first field is the status line the remaining three fields are the same as the request message format so here in this topic i have discussed only first field status line of the format of response message so let us take one example to understand the status line so here it is the example http 1.1 200 okay here http 1.1 is the version of http 200 is the status code and ok is the status phrase so whenever response message is sent from the server to client at that time status line shows the http 1.1 200 ok it means the request is succeeded let us see the difference status code and the status phrase the first one is 200 ok it means the request is succeeded the next status code is 301 if here 301 is written instead of 200 it means the requested object is moved next status code is 400 it means the bad request so request message not understood by the server next status code is 404 not found it means the requested documents are not found on this server next code is 505 it means http version is not supported to the server so this is the few example of the status code and status phrase so many times we are facing this kind of error on the internet so this is not the error so this is the status code and status phrase of the response message so now discuss the real time example of the response message so here this is the one example of the real time response message now compare this message to the format of response message the first line shows the status line it means the http version 1.1 200 it is the status code and this is the ok it is the status phrase the first line shows the status line of the http response message from second line onwards it shows the header lines so it indicates the header field and the last one is the html file so it is called the message body the next component is close so after request response and all the required information are received to the client side then both the parties terminate the connection or close the connection so after the client and server have exchanged the information by sending request and responses both parties may end the transaction by closing the connection so here close the connection using the terminating tcp connection method if you have any query regarding http transaction you can ask me in comment section if you like this video please share with others and hit the like button thank you for watching this video